the next lesson is going up in one string playing the whole scale the octave in with one finger so we're going to use the middle finger so in in rather in terms of usage for the violin i would call my index finger the first finger the middle finger the second finger and the ring finger the third finger and the last uh, pinky as the fourth finger so this from now on this is how i'll be referring to the fingers so we're going to use the second finger to go up the octave in one in one string right now we were doing right now watch how i go up in one string so we're going to divide going up into two parts now i've come to the second finger so for the re i use the first finger so it's sa re ga ma ga pa okay i have broken it broken it down so that it will become easier for you to pick it up and when you play it fast it will sound like a ah, that's how it's going to sound so that's the first half of the phrase now the second half of the phrase the second half of the phrase that was in one bow that that's another bow now when you when you get these two phrases so it is sare ga ma ga pa pa ni dha sa ni sa but the thing is when you begin playing you have to watch how i play i some i've seen other students of mine commit this mistake so i'm warning you about it just right now so it's not it's not like that have to take it like that so so i drag it and drag it down not it's not from point to point no that's not that's wrong so how about putting both the phrases together now in one bow okay now so i am going to show you how it's going to sound when i play a little fast exercise now how about coming down so you're in sa we're going to divide it into two, three parts not even two so sa ni sa dha ni pa da again 
it's dragging it down and taking it up again dragging it up it's not point to point Now here, from Ma, you put your first finger down there and then you're going to switch fingers now. You did not hear the switch. You, you should play it in such a way that you do not hear the switch. But if there is a gap, then you are going to hear the switch. So if you do not want to hear the switch, you need to put it right beneath the second finger. So, so if I had to play all the three phrases in one bow. And then if I play it fast, because we are doing the exaggerated movement and that will shorten as you get faster. That's in one string. Now, another variation. Now we did all this with this uh, se second finger. Now how about playing that with the third finger? But you do not play, you, you do not use just the third finger. You use the second finger for support. So, now when you play ga, you're going to use both your fingers on ga. So basically, you're playing ga with your third finger, which you would never do. You'd play it with your second finger. So, but you need to have the support of your second finger if you want to play this well because if you're going to use only your third finger uh, it, it is not going to sound as good as it would sound with both fingers there. <laughs> 